back to another weekend vlog. It's Saturday afternoon, I've just come back from a run, a little bit hot and sweaty, the sun is shining, lots of blue sky, it's beautiful. Um, I'm going to do a quick 10 minute hit session and then I'm going to get ready for because I'm going, for, going to work, I don't know. One more night shift, I need to go quickly do this hit session, get ready for work and then I have got my second Covid vaccine today before I start my shift, so hopefully I don't feel ill from it. I'm really hoping I don't, I feel okay because I'm gonna feel like that and groggy when I'm doing a night shift is not gonna be the best. So i better quickly get on with this hit session and then get ready for work and go. So I've got precisely one hour. Better get moving. No. Good afternoon, happy Easter guys, happy Sunday, happy Easter Sunday. We've just come for a walk with the family, we have not seen them in such a long time. Um, it's probably about one o'clock in the afternoon, I've just finished night, had about four hours sleep. The kids are up ahead, the sun is shining, it's probably a bit cool on top of this hill but it's a beautiful day. Sorry I can't hold that arm, I had my jab yesterday. My arm is killing me, it like, hurts to lift it up. So we've got the family with us, they obviously don't want to be on camera but they're all here. Crazy granddad, my sister-in-law and the kids. Not sure how much filming we're going to get done today. Just purely for the fact because we're going to have some uh, nice family time and they don't all want to be on the vlog. So I'll film as much as I can and I'll obviously take you with us. Hope you found Harry. Oh, oh wow, I think someone's lost Cinderella then. Oh yeah. Hi. So off in the distance there is Lime Hall. That is very famous. It's very famous for the film um, Pride and Prejudice with the scene with Mr. Darcy in the lake, good old Colin Firth. So that's just there. I think the gardens are actually open now for you to have a walk around. But we've just obviously decided to come this way. Um, head up to a vantage point and then you get to see across the whole of Manchester if the weather's right and there's not too many clouds. It's beautiful. A bit out of puff. There's a better view of it there and then you've got like a big castle in the background over there oh almost made it to the top of the hill excuse the wind I'm not sure even the wind can cope with this the forest and Manchester really far in the distance you're not gonna be able to see it but it's beautiful almost at the top the kids are up there waiting for us and the old folk are down here so we're just heading in to Lime Park um, or Lime Hall here it's obviously open because it's all ticketed at the minute into Lion Park um, Gardens. This is the famous Mr. Darcy Lake. Yeah. So pretty. Lots of people around just doing the Easter egg hunts. Um, that's always in the National Trust properties at Easter. But it's so pretty. It's a gorgeous day down here. Out of the wind, it's glorious. So yeah. Yeah, you know that's not good. Man. That's a good zen spot. Look at that, that looks nice. Are you? Right. Got to do your presentation again. 
so back home from our walk now. It was so lovely to get out and see the family. It's been far too long. We, yeah, it's so nice just to have a little bit of normality. <sighs> I'm exhausted now, no, now though. I think the mixture of the fresh air, the breeze, and obviously the four hours sleep post nights, and I've just hit a brick wall, absolutely, 100%. Oh, so sorry. Just making our Sunday roast. None of us can be bothered making it, but it will be worth it in the end. Um, nice roast chicken, roast potatoes, Yorkshire's the same old. We haven't got any lamb because this lot won't eat it. Um, so yeah, it's not really much point buying it, even though I really wanted some. Um, yeah, gonna watch a bit of telly, I think, and chill out. My son's just, oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Great vlog this is. <laughs> um, yeah, just gonna watch a bit of telly. I've got a nice glass of wine. That's probably gonna help me sleep even more. Really looking forward to my dinner now because I am very hungry. I've not really eaten properly today. David and Harry made a bit of a tray bake. Um, it was like a cakey biscuit thing. It was a very strange texture, but amazing. Um, yeah, really enjoyed that. It's like something my grandma used to make. What? It's a very strange mixture. Yeah, it's not cake and it's not biscuit. It's not like a Jaffa cake softness either. Um, but no, that's really nice. <sighs> Couple of days off and then back to work on Tuesday. So I'm going to make the most of this time and just chill out for a bit. So I'll see you later. Good morning, guys. Happy Bank Holiday Monday. It's now almost 10 o'clock. I've had a lie-in. Yay! I've had a lie-in for the first time in a long time. I did go to bed quite late last night. So, went to bed about just after 12. Had a nice lie-in till about 10. Feel too guilty. Morning, Harry. Morning. Harry's just had his breakfast because he's starving because mum and dad had to lie-in. I'm um, going to go out for a run. Realised I didn't end the vlog last night. I didn't do anything exciting. We had a roast dinner, which was amazing. You saw last week's roast, it was exactly the same, no different meat, nice chicken, great roast potatoes. And then we watched um, Grey's Anatomy. The night went really quickly all of a sudden. Um, and then we went to bed. And yeah, nice lie in. The sun is shining this morning, but I believe it's absolutely freezing. So I've got my winter running stuff on because I'm just about to go out the door for a run. It snowed in parts of Greater Manchester um, and the wind is blowing and it's supposed to be an arctic gale so even though it looks warm I think it's freezing in the air so it's supposed to be about two degrees. I'm going to head out the door very quick 5k come back I'm going to have a nice cup of tea I think I'll have a tea today and some hot cross buns so I'll catch you guys in a bit. Just got back from our run it wasn't as cold as I thought it would be the wind is freezing but the sun is incredible Ended up just running in my t-shirt, which was great. Um, just sat outside having my breakfast. <sighs> Sorry, this is a lovely little spot. It really hides you from the wind, which is great. So the sun's shining. Oh, it feels better when you're in the sunshine. That's just how I feel. Um, just makes it feel all right. But I don't want to move then, because I just want to sit here all day in my little garden, in my little space and not do a great deal. Not sure what we are doing today. Harry's desperate to do something. This is gonna be the theme of the next two weeks because it's obviously the Easter holidays. Um, he's gonna be asking me what to do every day. Well, I am working quite a lot. I haven't got any time off over Easter. Um, so he's gonna be between here and maybe crazy granddads, but mainly here because David is still working from home. So they'll have to entertain themselves when David's at work and so am I. I'm um, going to enjoy my breakfast um, and then grab a shower and see what the rest of the day lies ahead. Just heading out on a little walk, it's just David and Harry and I. Um, Emily has just decided to meet a friend. But this is a walk we came on a few weeks back with Crazy Grandad. I just wanted to show you where to come. So this is Ashmill Lane North. This is a private road, so there's no parking down here. But there is on-street parking around there. But you really do need to be mindful of residents about where you park 
because it's really not fair on them if you start parking down this road outside the houses or outside the houses up there um, so just be mindful of where you park if you do come here oh that's for sale david Ooh. can we buy it no disney holidays forever uh, i'm not sure but i think the bank manager would laugh at us if we tried to buy that but that is a gorgeous looking house isn't it yep and dad told me those baby birds he could hear oh yeah so we just walk down here and obviously we'll take you with us oh nice cup of coffee oh look at these cute doggies they don't look like they walk very far though <laughs> We have just arrived. Little sign there, just up there, saying into the bushcraft. We'll leave a link down below for this place. It's actually really busy today. Frank holiday, the sun's shining. Harry has seen lots of people walk away with um, pizza, so he's very excited. Ah, there he is in the bushes. Harry, what's people been walking away with? Pizza. Pizza in the bushes. No, they can't have pizza in here. What, oh, oh, what can I see over there? Oh, I can see a coffee shack probably. Look. So we've come for a little bit of a walk because, oh God, trees attacking me. Because there is a massive queue for pizza and coffee. I mean, the coffee queue will probably go down really quickly, but apparently there's about a 45, 50 minute wait for pizza. He said try coming back in a bit, so we'll come for a bit of a walk. I think we'll give it a go and if it's still a massive way or they've obviously run out of pizza or anything, oh, into the woods, then we'll just change our plans. So that's what we're doing at the minute. But we have never been down here before and it's really cute. We've got the river bowling just there. So we've done parts of the river bowling before, but <laughs> you are such a child. See daddy jump from one to another. <laughs> you two look like twins. You're both in grey. I did it again. Oh, I think I can balance on it. Oh God, I've got no sense of balance at all. I'm good at parkour. You're good at parkour, are you? Yeah. Come on then. Yeah. No, don't break your leg. I am not carrying you home. Whoa. Quite like dirty dancing there. What do you mean? Look, dirty dancing. I'll do it. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Turn it girly, don't I? So we have decided to just keep on moving forward, go into the car and not go back unfortunately to get some pizza. A bit gutted, Harry is super gutted aren't you mate? We'll come back again. Okay. Yeah. Obviously everyone is out, we need to be there I think a lot earlier than we have been, which is typical for us when you always do stuff like this. So we need to go and head off and find something else to eat. Because I am starving after that walk now, it's really made oh, yeah. me hungry. It's a beautiful, beautiful day today. <sighs> My face is freezing though. It's quite cold. Just got back from our walk. We ended up in Subway. Harry doesn't only like Subway and Emily certainly doesn't, but we got him just a cheese um, Italian sub and he really enjoyed it. He's like, he wants more cheese though. Even though it was double, it is just tiny. Obviously we're supposed to load it with salad and other stuff anyway. So I got a salad. I mean, it's the Sainsbury's. Guess what I've got? How good does that coffee look? Oh, that's really nice. And we um, got some more Starbucks coffee. Obviously, we had 
What did we have yesterday? We had Tim Hortons coffee yesterday and we ordered some more Joffrey's. We ordered some decaf as well because I thought I want to enjoy a coffee in the evening but I just don't want the caffeine so we ordered some decaf. Oh, that's a good brew. I love that milk velvetizer thingy my bother me. It's only from Aldi and it was cheap as chips and it's been brilliant but I'm gonna have a yummy cake, cake biscuit that David made yesterday. Mm. These are good. Sorry, David and Harry made them. So I'm gonna go and enjoy this. So I really enjoyed my little coffee outside, which was great. I feel very windswept and sort of sun-kissed right now. I'm gonna have, have a gin, cheeky little gin for the afternoon. Um, afternoon, it's almost six o'clock in the evening. That's totally socially acceptable. So I'm gonna have my cloudy lemon gin. I've um, got some ice in a nice glass. But um, I've tried tonic with it, which I quite like. I have tried um, lemonade with it. Yeah, I don't mind it. I'm gonna try it with this now. I'm gonna try it with some San Pellegrino lemon. Um, I also have heard uh, Seashawn Vlog recommended um, Fanta lemon. So I might give that one a go next. Keep the gin coming. Let's try this one. Not sure about gin to juice ratio. Let me give it a go. Mmm, that's um, very bitter. Maybe the Fanta lemon would be better just to add that bit of sweetness. It's definitely going to be lovely on a summer's day, but it is very, very bitter. But no, thumbs up. Right. I'm just trying to imagine I'm in Spain somewhere. Or Italy. Oh, that's nice though. Gonna get a couple of jobs done. Hoover, mop, and then have some dinner. I'm having chicken tiki kebabs from the butchers and the kids and David just having some spaghetti and some garlic bread. So we're gonna get cracking with that in a minute. Otherwise, I am never going to get off the sofa because I'm just watching a few vlogs, watching Cheers Ears at the minute. Um, Boris has just made an announcement, so not anything spectacular news-wise at the minute, unless he's apparently going to announce something on the, was it the Foreign Office website? Yeah. Or something like that, yeah. So, we'll obviously keep updated and see how it goes because we're supposed to be going to Florida in 126 days. Fingers crossed. But who knows what's happening as of yet? I don't know. Jab wise, I'm feeling okay actually after my jab. My arm is not so bad. Little achy yesterday um, and again this morning, but nothing else. I started with a headache this morning, but I'm not sure it was just dehydration because it seems to have gone. A friend of mine has really, really struggled with her second vaccine, but she wasn't very well with the first one either. Um, I think it just depended on, I don't, it apparently it makes no difference to your level of immunity, whether it you've got a strong reaction or not. Um, but yeah, I've had it, I feel fine, I feel great. I feel great that I've had two vaccines now. So if you haven't had your vaccine yet, fingers crossed you get it soon. And if you've been offered it, go and get it. Everyone needs to get vaccinated. Let's just get back to normal. So I've had some dinner. I didn't film any of it again. You don't need to see me eating every time. Um, my dinner was absolutely lovely. I had chicken tikka kebabs from the, the butchers, which I've had before and are amazing. The kids and David just had spaghetti, bacon, and cheese, didn't you? And Harry's dressed like it's winter. Yeah, and garlic bread. <laughs> um, had a bath, which is why I look like this now. Um, Harry's brought his duvet down because we're about to watch. Uh, Falcon, and Falcon and Winter Soldier. Which one is it? Winter, so Winter Soldier and Falcon. Falcon and Winter and the Winter Soldier sounds like it's correct. I think Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So Winter I think it's Soldier. the third episode. Is it the third episode? Yeah, third episode. Yeah. About to watch the third episode. Emily's going to come down and watch it with us, which is great. And this is where we're going to end this weekend's vlog. Um, I hope you've all had a lovely Easter. Oh, careful in the flame. <laughs> This is where you see Harry go up in flames because he's messed about in the candle what with his duvet. It? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's not the ending we quite want to this vlog, Harry. <laughs> okay. 
so this is where we're going to end this weekend's vlog thank you so much for watching um don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below i hope you've all had a brilliant easter weekend and we'll see you again for next weekend's vlog not sure what we're doing yet um we have got a vlog to put out where harry and i answer a lot of questions okay. also we are going to alton towers on monday next monday um, i'm working all weekend so three no two 14 hour shifts back to back so i'm not going to be filming at the weekend but then we are going to alton towers on monday so i'm not sure what's happening for next week's vlog anyway enough of me rambling enjoy the rest of your week i'll catch you later <laughs> Bye! Bye!